to exercise the priesthood of Jesus Christ, the royal priesthood, as lay people and religious, you exercise that by your life of sacrificial love. We help each other to get to the finish line. That's what we believe about the priesthood. We believe that the priest is the teacher of truth. That's another element of the priesthood, because not only is Jesus priest, he's prophet and king, and that element of prophecy doesn't so much involve predicting the future as knowing the mind of God and making it present and expressing it in time and space. We're called to that prophetic dimension of Christ. Every priest especially is called to be the guardian and protagonist of truth. I have long considered it a far worse crime than rape or murder for a priest to teach something other than the truth. Believe you me, we priests will have a lower place in hell than any rapist or murderer if we dare subvert the doctrine of the faith, if we dare teach immorality in the place of morality, and don't you think that it hasn't happened, because it has. I have seen from one end of North America to the other evidence of it. I've sat in the meetings with bishops and scholars. Oh, I had one on moral theology, I'll never forget it. The bishop on my left said, oh, we're wasting our time in this discussion on moral theology. And I said, why is that, Your Excellency? He said, the real problem is birth control. The problem is we have to come out and publicly denounce Paul VI and his encyclical Humanae Vitae. And until we publicly denounce it, we're wasting our time in moral theology. And you wonder what's wrong? That is what's wrong. Woe to the man, especially the priest, who takes the truth and subverts it, erodes it, diminishes it, or distorts it. Woe to that man. Better indeed for him that he have a millstone fastened about his neck and be cast into the sea, then he scandalizes one of these little ones. The truth is not a matter of indifference. The truth is a matter of life or death. Jesus called the devil a liar and the father of lies a murderer from the beginning. Do not play fast and loose with eternal truth, for the truth is not a something. The truth is a divine somebody, and his name is Jesus Christ. And we priests have that as an essential part of our ministry to safeguard that truth which God has given to us, which is the same in its essence, yesterday, today, and forever. Therefore, do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teaching, as the letter to the Hebrews counsels us.